Hey guys, welcome back to the His and Hers of Truth podcast. My name is Tuan. This is my lovely wife. Sim, great seeing you everyone again, and thank you for your love and support. Yep, thank you for the uptick in subscriptions, guys. Please, as always, right, subscribe to the channel. Yes. Smash that like button. Ooh. Guys, you know, we are shadow banned in the algorithm. I mm -hmm. get it. I know a viewer just commented that recently, and yep. we've had other viewers state that as well, guys. So do us a huge favor, mm -hmm. right? Watch this whole video, but mm -hmm. please share and comment. Just get the engagement up so that way, you know, mm -hmm. we can push the truth out there and you yep. guys can help this spread this message. Because that's really the, the most important thing, guys, is getting this message out about mm -hmm. the truth. So that way it saves lives. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it helps mostly men, right? Mm -hmm. And specifically our Asian brothers get better yeah. results. Guys, there's a reason why I talk about it all the time. Highest self-deletion rate, mm -hmm. right? Well, one of the highest, right? And then obviously lowest uh, uh, swipes on Tinder, dating mm -hmm. apps. Those are all reasons, guys, on why this is so important, right? So help an Asian brother out by not obviously trying to, you know, self-delete himself. Yep. But guys... Uh, this video that we're reacting today is actually a TikTok video. I love these videos because they're mm -hmm. short yep. to the point. But at the time, guys, at the same time, there's a lot of good information in there if you watch carefully mm -hmm. and if you're truth aware, right? Yeah. If you're aware of the truth. So, yeah, one of our producers uh, gave us uh, this uh, lead to this uh -huh. video. So thank you so much. And yeah. the title of the video, I believe, is uh, I don't think he should deserve her after doing this mm -hmm. something like that but anyways guys it'll be on our obviously our description okay mm -hmm. all right let's begin Korean women do not want to have children has been uncovered ji Hye, a 37 year old korean woman has never considered starting a family because she has a husband who is financially dependent on her today while working from home she received a credit card notification and immediately called her husband to Okay, so before, guys, mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. We, I love this thing. So what did you just take from that, that whole thing? Guys, and real quick, on the top of the video, the headline says, could this be the reason why Korea has the lowest birth rate? Okay, so that's one. And then the other thing is that she's 37 years old. Yeah. She's never considered starting a family because her husband is dependent. Yeah. Financially. Financially. So what do you think about that, honey? Well, that's true. I mean, think about it. Most women, if they have to be the financial breadwinner they're so busy busy with their lives and everything else and think about they had to put a few more you know mouths to feed and their husband that's not doing anything to provide as a man she doesn't feel like hey now i have to take care of two more kids my husband's a child himself because he's not even providing for me you know why am i gonna you know now take more burden onto yeah. my shoulders yeah. and she's 37 she doesn't have that much time she does not have that much time to have a child yeah. and if she does she's she probably already know that she's having a risk of having a child i'm sorry to say with issues health issues and yeah. we know what those are most of the time they're down syndrome miscarriage higher rates and everything yeah. else yeah. we we don't sugarcoat in our channel we're trying to tell you the truth and these are the facts yeah you know? let's let, let's talk about some facts because there's so much to unpack in just this first few seconds mm -hmm. guys first let's start no particular order guys and let's just start for the fact that the, they're not traditional Mm -hmm. Right, guys, we talk about this all the time, and this is very Asian culture related, right? Because yeah. I told you guys this this woke ideology, this feminism ideology, this kind of this modern social construct, right? Because they always try to make the truth, right? People always try to say the truth is the social construct, yeah. right? But no, it's the modern mm -hmm. ideology that is the social construct, right? Mm -hmm. So what what do we tell women, right? Oh, you can be a boss, babe. You can have your own independence financially, specifically, mm -hmm. right? Make money. Then you can go find a husband and be this 50-50 financial partnership. Or shoot, you could be the breadwinner and it should be okay. And most of the time, they don't work out. But as you guys can see, most of the time, one, it doesn't even get to this point, mm -hmm. right? Because most of these ladies that are, are, are supporting a dude, they're going to break up with that dude way before this even happens. Mm -hmm. So the fact that she's still in this relationship shows you that she's trying to stick with it because of the whole asian cultural maybe not wanting to shame because of divorce though. right it won't but last. it's gonna be just a matter mm -hmm. of time until she says mm -hmm. she's fed up with this and she's going to find some or she's gonna try to find somebody else mm -hmm. but like my wife said she her clock is clicking right now lucky mm -hmm. luckily for her she has not gotten a child from this guy yeah because imagine if she did get a child from this guy and that she's still trying to support them mm -hmm. and then she tries to divorce him later and this happens a lot guys we talk about it a lot you guys see it a lot in the western world right mm -hmm. an older gal who's the breadwinner or maybe doing 50 50 gets sick and tired of her man 
she divorces her husband, even being uh, while being cool with the 50 50. But now she wants something more. Right. What is you think your chances of are being an older woman with the child too, trying to find another dude? It's going to be super low. It is. Okay. And then the other thing I want to say too is because obviously they say this is the reason why Korea has the lowest birth rate. Yeah. The reason because of this woke feminism ideology, right? Mm -hmm. They're telling women to push back having family and having Mm -hmm. kids starting at a young age. They're telling women to focus on their school, their career, Mm -hmm. right? And then there's going to be that high top tier guy there for you. Okay, Mm -hmm. and that's not the case, right? But not a lot of guys make a lot of money out there. And by the time you think about it, ladies, they're in their mid 30s and they're still trying to be up there, you know, still trying to make a living, you know, and then they're not ready. Yeah, and and, 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 and I guarantee you, we haven't met the husband yet, Mm -hmm. but I guarantee you, he's going to be an archetypical, archetypical guy Mm -hmm. that this type of woman attracts. That means he's probably going to be good looking. A little bit tall. Right? Good looking. Mm-hmm. That's where his value, where she said, okay, hey, you know, I make the money. So cool. He doesn't need to bring money. Right? He's not going to be very, let's just be honest. He's probably not going to be very responsible. Mm-hmm. Right? He's probably going to freaking, like, you know, uh, just go out and play, spend money. Or he's a little bit younger. Yeah. And he's probably going to be younger than her, too. So, anyways, let's watch, guys. There's only a few reasons like, why I wouldn't put up. <laughs> 124,000 won 썼어? 아, 전화를 끊어. is a beauty influencer and her husband doesn't have a job or any income, so he totally lives off of her. He hung up because he felt guilty after splurging on a pair of Gucci shoes and putting it on his wife's credit card. To make it up to her, he bought her a bouquet of flowers. With her money though. Her husband then turned around to show off his new shoes. Jihye remained silent for a while, but couldn't hold back her tears. The husband was confused and wondered why she was acting like that. (laughs) Jihye didn't want to say anything. Instead, she took out the credit card bill. Ji Haye is not upset about the 6.1 million Korean won, but rather fed up with her husband's spending habits and reluctance to work. However, okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, so let's mm-hmm. let's, let's let's unpack that because I think that's cap. That's cap. Okay, she is upset. So obviously he came home, mm-hmm. like, and what what did we suspect, guys? Younger looking dude. Told ya. They didn't say his age, but he looked younger than her, right? Because let's or be decent. honest, Asian Asian people look younger, right? Mm-hmm. And so the fact that she's 37 and she looks still fairly young mm-hmm. and the fact that he looks younger than her 100%, what did i say 100 percent, right women's intuition and we then, only put up with certain things and then look at like dude he's literally acting like a woman mm-hmm. right guys you got shopping. this 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 is what right like think about what the stereotypical family used to look like right mm-hmm. the husband comes home from work yeah. he sees a credit card bill yeah. right he confronts his wife like hey honey what's this credit card bill and then she comes on hey look at my shoes i just bought right yeah. Dude, he literally, so everything this guy is doing Reverse, is, is is not going to nope. be attractive to a woman. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. We live in a day and age where we're trying to tell that men and can be, you know, more feminine. We can say we say women can be more masculine. And you can see that their biological, you know, actual wants are fighting against it. Mm-hmm. She doesn't find that stuff attractive. Nope. Okay. Nope. And then it's 100 percent cap the fact that she said oh you know it's not because you were spending money or it's not because about the money it's not about the money dollar amount Please. it's because you have these bad habits of spending but no, no it's no. it's because he it is, is supposed to be the one spending money right he's i'm sorry uh, uh bringing, bringing home, home the money bacon. right mm-hmm. like and even he said he's like oh don't worry honey I'll, I'll go get a job and pay you back one of these days but at that point, it's done already. No, nope. you know, because he's so used to her lavish yeah. ways. She's supposed to be the one mm-hmm. that wants that's doing this. She's the one supposed to be sitting at home or going shopping, right? And then mm-hmm. he gets the home money, and then she does, you know, lives her life, right? Yep. Her, her husband feels very wronged. <laughs> Then he starts to blame Jihai for being cheap.
At this point, Jihaya didn't want to save face for him anymore. Jihaya saw him start yelling at her, and she didn't want to waste time arguing with him. She turned around and headed to the bedroom, but the husband followed her in. Jai Hai's income is not very stable as an influencer, and her husband is financially irresponsible, so she often feels stressed out. But her husband doesn't get it at all and thinks it's totally normal. There you go. Go ahead, honey. What do you think? Because the, the roles are so reversed, so they're so That's opposite life. that they're never going to make this nope. work out. I'm sorry to say, but this couple will never, they won't last. They're not going to last. Because if, if you're a couple, especially for a woman, I'm sorry to say, with your, you're at the middle age, late 30s, 40 years old, and you're just the boss babe, you're doing all the income, you already lavish your husband or your man, I don't care, husband, man, boyfriend, he's not going to change. Why would he change for you? Because you know what? You're like his boss babe. Now he's thinking like, hey, you let me spend all this, you, you let me spend the money before, now why are you trying to change me? You were fine as being the boss, babe. Bring the income. Now you, now you have a problem. You have an yep. issue. So yep. just like, just okay, reverse that, woman. Yep. Think about it. If the man isn't working and he's not bringing in the bacon, would you have an issue? Yes, you will have an issue because you know why the finance isn't being taken care of. Yeah, and 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 this is the thing, guys. This is this is the thing that. And that's all... the truth. That's reality. This is the thing that all these feminist women want to argue. They always say that, oh, I'm totally cool with bringing in the finance value. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with splitting the bills or taking care of the majority of the bills. But what do they always leave it with? What do they always end that statement with? Yeah. As long as he's on his way mm -hmm. to becoming successful. Yeah. As long as the man has some type of ambition. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? She's willing to take care of you for a little, little bit. bit of time. A little bit. And that you have shown that mm -hmm. you have the ambition to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. But guys, we all know this. If a man doesn't have the ambition by himself, because we put this on both parties. We talk about this all the time. So my wife is 100% correct. She chose a loser to begin with, mm -hmm. and she expected that he was going to turn her around and but become a winner. But he did right? But he had the other values that she wanted, right? Young, especially tall. being an older influencer, yeah. right? And especially her being, uh, she values obviously looks as one of her primary values, right? Mm -hmm. Because think about it, she's a beauty influencer. Mm -hmm. So for her, she wants some man that's going to be good looking as well. She ain't mm -hmm. going to settle for some short, ugly looking dude, mm -hmm. right? And so she chose the good looking guy and her hope was that, okay, hey, He's going to start be able to make money. He was going to become something. And he'll something. take care of me, mm -hmm. right? But in the meantime, since I'm older, since I'm still okay looking, mm -hmm. I don't have a child yet, right? Oh, uh, I will support him. Uh -huh. And then hopefully after he sees me supporting him, he will get better and take care of me. Yeah. And then I could be the one sitting home looking pretty mm -hmm. and then just doing my videos, yeah. right? But guys. Nope. You're never going to change someone like that. And nope. so ladies, right? Same lesson. The man has to, you're never, you're never going mm -hmm. to, I repeat, never mm -hmm. going to influence a man enough to be the winner himself. Nope. If he doesn't want to be a winner himself, you're never going to change. So guys, my bro Asian brothers out there, we have to be the winners, mm -hmm. right? If you want the traditional wife, right? Because let's think about it. If she was more of a traditional wife, this guy would one mm -hmm. would never be able to attract her because mm -hmm. a traditional wife's going to be saying, Oh, you're broke. You're freaking, you don't have no money. So money is important to you guys. Mm -hmm. But I tell you guys all the time, even the traditional woman wants a tall, good looking guy. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, hey, if you guys are willing to if you got, hey, if, if there's some hot Asian brothers out there and you guys are willing mm -hmm. to be just taken care of by an older, you know, 
milf in essence right someone mm-hmm. that can support you financially which some people th- and, do and, and that's what mm-hmm. you want to do then go do that but let's be honest if you want the full submission full cooperation right of a traditional woman or having kids yeah most of the older women cannot have kids anymore Correct. just letting you know unless you guys are proceeding with adoptions and whatever else that's the only way to have but it isn't your bloodline and, and it isn't your bloodline and so. let's be honest too a lot of these women who are self-declared boss babes mm-hmm. let's be honest they're not virgins mm-hmm. they're they're you know they're gonna have probably way more bodies yep. even in the asian culture that's what i'm trying to tell you right mm-hmm. they're gonna be more promiscuous because if they're already believing the whole hey i could be a boss babe independent and and I'll settle down when I want to, mm-hmm. right? They're gonna sleep around when they want to. Yep. Okay. Oh, 내가 언제 이런 집에 살자 그랬어? 팔아야 될거 아니야. 그럼 그걸 oh, wow. 유지하고 사는 게 정상이야? 내가 그걸 그런 걸 원했냐고? 나는 있잖아. 너볼때 불쌍하거든. So what do you think of this couple? So what do you think about that last part? Because he really tried to shame her yeah. for all the things. And he has a good point, guys. I hate mm-hmm. to say it, but it's just like if you guys, it's the opposite, no different than the opposite, right? Yeah. If you're a man and you chose a gold digger mm-hmm. and you didn't vet her properly and yeah. the way you got her was because you showed her this lavish lifestyle yeah. and but you spent you money think. on her mm-hmm. and all you knew, all you knew that she brought was sex and her beauty, yep. right? And she didn't provide anything else. Mm-hmm. And then now you go and confront her and you're like, well, hey, why can't you cook? Why can't you clean? You know, why can't you give me kids? And why can't you be, you know, faithful to just me? She's not going when to. you knew she was a 304 mm-hmm. before, you knew she was freaking, you know, playing around and yeah. never freaking being responsible it's the same thing so from his standpoint he's like saying hey you marry me because i was this person yeah so why are you asking me to do all those things now and he said well if you can't maintain this lifestyle or my lifestyle then then go sell the house now he's sort of like sort of making her feel bad because like hey why are you, I feel sad for you that you're doing all this to, to support me to support should, the house but my and have is, the look but you know should. what you can't maintain it and why are you complaining yep so it's going to be both ways, guys. So you got to, it's got to wake up. The only thing that's not both ways, though, though, guys, is that mm-hmm. in a situation where the man is that position, mm-hmm. it could work out. Guys, because as a man, as long as you didn't do something stupid and marry this quote unquote hypothetical 304, mm-hmm. right? Or let's say she wasn't even a 304, but let's just say she was young, not very skilled in, you know, in all the motherly duties like cooking and cleaning, right? Mm-hmm. And you were the top tier man. You could one, hire maids. You could one, hire cooks, right? Uh, as long as she was pretty, kept herself in shape, gave obviously sexual access to you, gave mm-hmm. kids to you, it could still kind of work out. Right. If he's financially, if you're financially well financially to do, that's what well I'm to say. To if do. you're like the that really financially out. top tier guy, yeah. but that's my point. At least uh, that way, it mm-hmm. actually has a chance. Mm-hmm. The other way, 100, percent yeah, 100, percent it's not going to not work, gonna work. Right, Mm-mm. because that that girl that you married for her looks, mm-hmm. and if she's really younger than you, her looks will at least maintain long enough for it to last a certain period of time. Can I say put up with? Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's about it. Whereas 100%, whereas the other way, mm-hmm. the guy that the, her husband still wants her for her looks, mm-hmm. right? You think he should, well, he would have stayed there or at least let's be honest. He's probably going to cheat on her too. No, mm-hmm. don't, no, no question. Well, right. Cause think about it. She's so busy being a boss, babe, running the business. He's not working. Well, n- not not even you that. Know? Let's let's say even if she's, she's not, not doing bu- anything. Let's say even if she's not busy. The point though is if she doesn't respect him, mm-hmm. which she doesn't, you can clearly see that. Yeah. And and she's totally in the right for not respecting him. Mm-hmm. Do you think a woman that doesn't respect her part her husband because I can't stand partner yeah. right that I know they treat each other like partners, mm-hmm. but if she doesn't respect her husband, you think she's gonna give up sex to him? You think she's going to like give her all to him when it comes Mm -hmm. to that sexual physicality? I don't think so. 100% no. So that means he's Mm -hmm. not getting sex from her. Yeah. Now she's complaining about paying for him when before that was the whole reason why she got with him to begin Mm -hmm. with. You don't think that she's going to go cheat on her with somebody else? He's probably already did. Yeah, he's probably did it. And luckily for her, she's still relatively good looking. Mm -hmm. If she was ugly and fat and overweight too, he probably would have done it a long time ago. And they would have left. He would have left a long time ago also. Yeah. But hey guys, I think that was a good video. Like Mm -hmm. I said, I love these shorts because there's so much to unpack. And you notice how the video, Mm -hmm. they tried to shame the guy, 
Yeah. They didn't shame the woman, right? Even though like independent boss babe, right? You know, feminism, modern, right? No longer traditional. Mm -hmm. They shame the men, right? So it's like, I tell you guys all the time, men, we are expected to be traditional and hold to the truth of values, mm -hmm. right? The traditional values, yeah. right? But you guys are going to face women that are not going to be held to these values. Mm -hmm. You're going to be facing women that think that they can bring your values yep. and that those values are freaking what you should be looking for as well. Mm -hmm. And so that's the current dating market, guys. You guys got to learn that and pick that up. If you don't get that, you're going to be wrecked. And let me tell you right now, it doesn't work out. Yeah, it, it does work. not hey, If you're going to play out. with someone like that, just play, but mm -hmm. don't get serious. Yeah. Okay. See so, guys, you. hey, thank you so much. Bye. Check you guys next time. Join us as we give you guys a glimpse into our lives, give you guys advice, mm -hmm. hopefully give you guys entertainment value as well too, and provide you guys better outcomes. Yes.